Hello, everybody. I'm back with another video because I'm gonna do another little unboxing with you. Um, this one will be a little bit different because it's not a subscription box or um, a direct sales company or anything like that. It is actually the new Apple iPad, the iPad Air. I ordered this from Amazon literally yesterday at like 10 a.m. and it got here in 24 hours. It was here by noon today. So I did um, I did Amazon Prime, which you know, usually you can expect like two days. That's the fastest I've ever gotten anything from Amazon, literally 24 hours, it was here. So since I've got this, I haven't even taken it out of the Prime packaging box yet. It is right here. So the last time that I had an iPad was um, like 2010. I think I had like the iPad 2 or something like that. So I can't really compare it to anything recent. Um, so I'm not really going to like review it or compare it to anything. I'm just going to show y'all what it looks like. All right. So here she is. The iPad Air fourth generation. 64 gigabyte Wi-Fi and then my case that I ordered also came I chose the Moco case smart so there's my case and it has like the frosted clear back so you can see the back of the iPad and then the front is like this watercolor thing. It's one of the ones that's like magnetic so when you open it it um wakes up your iPad and when you close it it goes back to sleep. So the color that I chose is the rose gold. It also had the option for um sky blue, a light green color, gray or silver i believe um and then it also has the option for wi-fi or cellular i got the wi-fi so i have to be around wi-fi i didn't go through my phone company and get the cellular one i think there's also an option for a higher memory one um i got the lowest the 64 gigabyte so like i said this one was 5.99 plus tax and um I guess it goes up from there. Um, when you get cellular, it's like $200 more and the higher gigabytes is more, obviously. But yeah, so let's open this bad boy up. So it comes with these little film covers on it. So there she is, the front and the back. So I just powered it on. So while that is powering up, see what we got in the box. Okay, so it does come with the brick thingy, unlike the new phones. And then, and then the new USB-C adapter thingamabobber. So yeah, you do get your charger and charging cable. And then it goes to like the startup mode. And then choose your language. All right, so it says that in order to set this up, all you have to do is bring your current iPhone or iPad near it to sign in and set it up. Um, 
So I'm using my phone to record this video. So um, I guess I will just set up manually. So you choose your Wi-Fi network. And now it is activating my iPad. So yeah, in the box was the iPad itself, the charging cable and the brick, and then some instructions. All right, so then you go through setting up your Wi-Fi, setting up your data and privacy, setting up Touch ID, which Touch ID is now on um, on this, unlike the phones that only have Face ID lately, this has Touch ID up here on the um, sleep button up here. So with the masks, um, I know Face ID is pretty aggravating, so it is nice to be able to have the Touch ID again. All right, so then you set up your Touch ID, you set up your um, passcode, you can choose if you want to transfer apps and data to your iPad. Um, I'm not gonna transfer anything. I'm gonna start fresh. And then you enter your Apple ID. What are you out of, kitty boy? Out of food, mom? Oh my goodness. Anytime my dog is out of food or water, he will scratch at his little bowl to let me know. I will show you my little guy. Come here, little boy. You want to get on camera? What are you doing? All right, he's eating right now, so I won't disturb him. But that's my baby, my little Opie Pantalonian. He's a Yorkie. So you set up your Apple ID, put in your password, all that jazz. Oh, and it came um, fully charged. It's at 94%, so it's pretty nice. Now it takes you to Express Settings, which includes Siri, Maps, and then sending analytics of usage and data from your iPad to Apple to help improve the products and services. You can either keep the default to allow all those things or you can change it. Now it's allowing me to set up Apple Pay, add cards to Apple Pay to send money to friends and make secure payments in apps and on the web. And so it imported my cards that are currently on my Apple Pay on my phone. So I will just select those to import over onto my iPad. So now it's adding those cards. All right, while it's adding my cards, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in its case because I'm nervous I'm gonna drop it and crack it. All right, so that was fairly easy. It snapped right in. That on the front and then the back is transparent. And then it wakes up when you open it and goes to sleep when you close it. All right, so I shut it, so now I'm back at hello again. So if you press on this up here, it closes it. You have to just rest your finger on it to use the touch ID. My baby. Alright, now it wants me to share audio recordings for Siri, set up my settings for screen time weekly reports, um, share app analytics, which I'm not going to share that, use true tone display, you can choose if you want light mode or dark mode. So I'm done setting that up, so it looks pretty much identical to the new um, iPhone screen. 
So it comes preloaded with the same apps, I guess, that the phones do pretty much. And um, you can do the little widget thing that you can on the iPhone. So there she is for now. So from start to finish, setting up the new iPad took about 10 or 15 minutes um, doing it manually. If you have an iPhone already, then um, I guess it'll be faster. You can just, it said if you're connected to Bluetooth, you can just, um, I guess, import all of your settings over. Um, also, a lot of my stuff was saved from my iPhone. So if you don't have an iPhone or any um, Apple products yet, it may take a little bit longer. And right now I am on my iPad so we can see a little bit of that video quality. So the camera on here does not have a flash, so obviously it's not um, the best quality. I don't know how many megapixels exactly it is, but um, obviously it's not really made for uh, picture taking, I guess, being that it's, you know, big and bulky, but, um, but it seems decent. Uh, kind of gets the job done if you do need to use it for that. So, um, but yeah, I just want to try that out real quick. So, so now you've seen the new iPad Air. Like I said, I can't really compare it to any of the recent iPads, but it's obviously supposed to have the better resolution screen. Um, it's supposed to work better with the Apple Pencil and all that jazz. So, um, I'm excited to use this and I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching.